Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This is a new year, a chance for a new you and the opportunity to make better financial decisions. But before we set our 2019 goals, we want to take a look back at what experts say were the top financial concerns of 2018. Welcome back our resident financial expert, Janai Thornton. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. So happy we're talking about money already this year. Well, you know, you got to start the <laughs> new year off right so that you can get right financially. But we're talking about some of the most, uh, the things that were most searched uh, via Google financial wise in yes. 2018, which will set us up for 2019. So let's talk about the one that is top of the list. Okay. Number one most Google financial question in 2018, of course, was student loans. Student loans. Uh, number one. Yeah. And so you think about it. Right now, Americans have $1.2 trillion in student loan debt. Mm. $1.2 trillion. The average student loan payment is about $300 a month. Yeah. Um, a lot of people wish their payment was only $300 a month. But, you know, the most important thing and the best advice we can give people Rashawn is borrow only what you need. Yeah, but only how do you know that at such a young age? I know, and that's the thing. You have to exhaust every other opportunity. All the scholarships, everything else, student loans is your last resort. Mm -hmm. And for those people who are already struggling with them, see if they can refinance. Yeah. You know, there's a great company called SoFi, S-O-F-I. See if you're eligible for that. Oh my goodness, okay. So I understand another hot topic was mortgages. People want to know what size mortgages they can afford. Because you go in, you're like, I love this house, I love this house, right. until that first payment comes through. Right. Um, definitely don't start looking at houses first. Okay. You have to get pre-approved first or finance first. So there's two different rules. One is called the 25% rule. And what that rule says is your mortgage should not exceed 25% of your take-home pay, mm -hmm. of your net income. And then there's another rule called the 36% rule. And that if you take all of your credit card bills, student loans, mortgage, you put all of that together, that should not exceed 36% of your gross income. So do both equations to see where you are, and no matter what house you get financed for, always buy something lower than what you were approved ah. for to kind of give yourself a little cushion. So if you get approved for 202, don't get a 202 house? Don't want to do that at wow. all. Give yourself a little lead way so you can have some breathing space. Like even if you don't get the high ceilings. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you want we what can, you want. You want what you want, but, but remember, this may not be the house that you have to live in it, forever. This is it. just for now. Yes, okay, so another major expense that concerns people, new cars. Yeah. Third most Googled um, question in 2018 is, again, financing for cars. And what a lot of people don't realize is, get your financing first. Don't go to the dealership, don't go online, don't start looking, secure your financing first. Okay. Get that done first. You wanna shop around for your interest rate. And the other thing that's really happening now with student loans with Sean is, they, I mean, sorry, with car, car loans. loans is, they are extending the terms to seven years. Oh, I know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven years. You yeah. really want to try not to exceed about that five-year yeah. time period. Yeah. Most of us won't be driving that same car for seven years. I know. Yeah. Wow. I made a mistake and went to the dealership first, and I was like, yeah, I can't do that. Uh-uh. Financing yeah. first. All right. So payday loans for oh. people who may have overspent during the holidays. We get happy. We get a little extra money at the end of the year. And then now we're like, oh, God, I spent too much. You know, it's interesting that this actually made the top Google list. And that lets you know how much people are actually struggling. And so for payday loans, it is, it's a short-term loan. Mm -hmm. It's something, that's why it's called payday, that you're gonna pay it back probably within a few days, not normally more than about three months. Okay. And so you can borrow as little as $100, typically not more than $1,000, but it's very expensive. Yeah. So you're gonna pay about $15 for every $100 you borrow. Okay. Um, now what's interesting, the interest rates, although it's all, um, um, sanctioned by the state, governed by the state, that the interest rates can be as high as 400%. What? 400%, yeah. On a payday loan? On a payday loan, absolutely. So that's why people, you have to be very careful. So there's a great place um, called US Bank, mm -hmm. and they have, um, it's called a simple loan, um, where the fees are lower, but again, literally 400%. So look at your options first. Oh my gosh, yes. I would say no to that. I'm not even a financial expert for a payday loan. But absolutely. Hey, yeah, but a lot of people are Googling about, you know, what's next in life, and that's the 401k. Right. Yeah. Happy people are Googling this. A lot of people okay. don't understand what 401k means. It's simply, it's a retirement account. It's a retirement plan that's sponsored by your employer. Mm -hmm. So we as employees, we have to have money taken out of our paycheck that we invest for our own retirement. Mm -hmm. So sometimes our employers match it, sometimes they don't, but our retirement is on us. It's yes. not their responsibility. Right. Um, you don't pay taxes on it until after you withdraw the money. 
money. But again, you're never too young to start. You're never too old to start. Good. And there's no amount that's too little either. Okay. Yeah. okay. We got to get through the last ones too okay. quickly. Credit unions and how they work. I've okay. been interested in that. My, my husband is a part of a credit union, but how, how will it work? Okay. Credit unions, they're exactly just like banks, but they're actually not for profit. So you're a member, you're not a customer. Okay. So a perfect place to get loans, mortgages, car loans, um, small business loans, perfect for loans. Okay. Yes. Debt consolidation. I have done that and I swear <laughs> I swear ain't nothing happening. I mean, but right. I know as my money is coming out and I know they're paying all the people that I owed, but right. um, what do you say about that? Happy that you're transparent, that you share, that you've been through that. And a lot of people have nothing to be embarrassed about. People really do it because they don't want to have all of these different payments. You want to have one payment. You want everything consolidated down to one. So you're looking for a lower interest rate. Okay. You're looking for a lower payment, but it only makes sense if the fees are lower. So be careful of how much you're paying. You got to really do some math and do your research. Okay. You also want to make sure the company has really good ratings. So take your time and do research. This mm. is the time of the year people are like, I'm just tired. You know, right. I don't want to have to manage it. Right. So it's not just about having that one payment. You want to be paying less. So even if I'm with a debt consolidation firm now, can I reevaluate and maybe move it over? Or how does that? Um, I would. Just look. Why not? Research it. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. No problem. And I'm glad you talked about it. Oh, that. yeah. Well, you know, I'm very transparent about my finances because right. I want to help people that, are, you know, deal with the same things that I deal with. Just because you're on TV don't mean everything is cool. Come on now. How about Tell it? the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, Janai, thank you so much. You always are a wealth of knowledge. We appreciate you being here with Sister Circle. Thank uh, you. For more tips like these, you can follow her. Please follow her on Instagram, Instagram at, at Janai Thornton. Up to you.